to how you doing? No, seriously. It's baby girl 1580 and we're doing LA Noir playbook. Um, we're going to well, stick right through this because this is a, um, one of his little flashbacks. But we're going to go to the white shoe slaying. Yeah, baby. That's the next, that's the next case. So we're going to just jump right into it here, you guys. I'm going to move it right along. I'm not sure if I like how many women are dying here. What the hell is that about? I mean, seriously. <laughs> It's like nothing but dead women in, this, in these games. It's like, okay, are we really that stupid? I mean, come on. I think not. But hey, okay, we're the damsels in distress here. So we're just going to go with it, you guys. I don't know if I totally agree, but hey, it's a good game. So we saw the little uh, opening. And um, now we're back in the office. I didn't want that cut scene in here because I don't want any crap. But um, now we're about to go to the crime scene. And um, it's not that bad this time. Uh, this time the victim is fully clothed. And I'm not going to have to do my awesome blurring or cutting techniques. I can actually leave everything in the video this time. So um, I'm very happy about that. Because that is a lot of freaking work, man. Blurring frame by frame. And it's like you have to move the blur as the camera moves. It's like freaking annoying, dude. You don't want to do that. First the letter, and now another body. No. And YouTube is like so strict with, with you know, what you can show. Even though it's not a real boob. It's not a real breast on the camera. It's like a computer generated boob. It's still considered newsy, so they can be very strict. When I did um, Dante's Inferno, I had to take like all of um, a board out of out of it because of all of the boobs and stuff that was on there. So we're not gonna have that problem with this one, you guys. No, I'm just either gonna blur it or I'm gonna cut it, and that's it. Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. So here we are at the crime scene. We'll do, detective. This looks awful familiar. And it's not long like the last the one. It's very brief, well. actually. Um, it leaves you with um, little to go on here. Not much trace evidence to speak of. The storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple grade again. Again, um, I'd like to um, let you guys know that we've given away the two copies of L.A. North this Friday. So um, I hope you guys participate. And whoever wins, I hope you have a webcam. So you can, um, you know, take yourself unboxing it when you get it in the mail. Hello. It's going to be, like, so awesome. And no handbag or other personal effects. Okay, so first let's look at this body. Now, we noticed the rope. Appears to be a but we're actually looking at that tag there services, F1, because that's how we're going to identify the body is with that um, dry cleaning receipt on or that dry cleaning tag on her outfit. The next clue is um, the shoe. I think it's shoe prints. Yes, yeah, shoe prints. And then it's another one here. Tire tracks. Moving around, surveying the scene. You got the time of death from the corner um, already, so. Um, Incidental. He's saying that that five dollar bill is incidental, but um, I don't know. It's a hell of a coincidence, being that it was a five dollar bill in one of the other ladies' purses we, that we found. Most likely one the same.
So now that you found everything, you're going to go over to this little blue thing, this little telephone and call in. Well, we were going to call in, if I'm not mistaken, get the address to the laundromat. But it triggers a cutscene, and um, um, one, a lady that lives in the area wants to talk to you and tell you what she saw. Detectives. I've been working the houses across Catherine the street, Barton, five. I Explaining think that's her name. For us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? So well, after we night, take her statement, um, I saw that awful it's going to be true. After you, um, after you get all the information from her, then that's when you go over to the little telephone call in. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. We want to go over there to get the address of Superior Laundry, the place where the tag that we found on the victim's body, okay, on her clothes. See if we can get her name. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. This whole setting is so reminding me of heavy rain. It takes me back to my heavy rain days where it's just gloomy through the whole freaking game. Nothing but rain and gray sky. So reminds me of that. Just a moment, detective. And if you guys have never played Heavy Rain, um, I don't think I uploaded it to the Gameplay HQ. I think I have that on my Baby Girl channel. So if you haven't seen Heavy Rain, you should definitely go check it out and pick up a copy if you can. It was definitely a good game. So my lazy ass partner is in the car already. We're going to make him drive to the freaking laundry net. Since I'm out in the rain getting soaked, calling in addresses no and message. stuff, what the Excuse hell me? is that about? No message. Where? On the VIP. I, I mean, I find myself having to save him all the time. I'm I don't failing think I like problem. this part. You can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Superior Laundry, 12.25 p.m. It's so official. So we're gonna go talk to this Chinese guy, well, or agent, I don't know. We're just gonna go talk to him and, um, he's not even really caring because he's like, I have, I have shit to do, I have clothes to press, you can do through this book. Go find register. Blah blah blah. Yeah. So we're gonna look through the book, you guys, and find the victim's name from the tag that we found you take a look on for her jacket. Her clothes that or her dress or whatever. What the hell? You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? So now that we have the address, we're going to head right on over there, dude, and get some, get our investigation on. Our investigation and interrogation you know on. We're going to make the lazy partner drive again because um, I do all the work. The least he has to do is drive. And I better not hear any shit from him about I've it. I've got a Seriously. feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, 
And it's usually so correct. YouTube Please. again. Um, Please, we're giving once, away the gameplay. Your the gameplay HQ is giving away two yes, copies of no, LA Noir this Friday. If you want in, just send me a message, and I'll message you with the details. But um, I'm going to cut this video here and start up, start it back up once we reach the home. Okay. So again. I hope you guys are enjoying LA Noir playthrough. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.